guys welcome back um, this is a uh, another another special video uh, as from the title this is essentially my um, obscure 11 players from championship manager 0102 um, now I've kind of got two teams here of these these are obscure players who you might not have heard about um, and they they're, they're generally pretty good um, I've signed pretty much all of them at some point uh, or another over various saves and they generally do a pretty pretty good job for me in varying levels some of them can play um, you know really high up um, some of them develop into superstars some of them are really good signings for for lower league um, but anyway so I have got a <coughs> first starting 11 second starting 11 there's no real issue between uh, difference mainly between them and I've also got some players who didn't quite make the cut as honorable mentions now first we'll start with our goalkeeper so the first one I've got is now no, we're not typing yet um, now you might not have heard of you might have heard of some of these guys you might not have heard of any of them hopefully there's a couple here who you didn't know about and uh, they can make a difference to your team so first one up here we've got David Day, uh, Italian, Cortone, Crotone, I'm probably butchering that. Um, I think they're in Saria C or something, way, way, way down the bottom. Uh, generally, I haven't got the Italian leagues loaded. Uh, to get some of these players, you will probably have to go max database uh, or anything like that. So he's a really good goalkeeper. Um, as you can see, he's not on a lot. He's quite cheap. Uh, he does, I think at some point, sign a new contract. Uh, with a relegation or non-promotion release course clause and crotone crotone maybe they generally don't get promoted so he then can leave for quite cheap i've used him in the premier league he's a really decent backup so he is the goalkeeper of the obscure 11 first one so uh let's head now to left back um now, left back, I had da, 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 this guy here. Well, look, I'm going to be honest. I'm sure most people have heard of him, so he's not the most obscure player. But sometimes he gets overlooked, uh, and that is Jamie Victory at Cheltenham. Now, everyone usually goes straight to Cheltenham and straight to Mike Duff, because he is a legend. But we've also got now completely lost where he is Jamie Victory um, he's a really really good left back look at this adaptability big match consistency corners he's fast he can cross he's a great captain and he can generally play in the Premier League as well so uh, I know he's not obscure but he's one of my favorite players so he is the left back there now heading over to the right side of the fence fence field um, we've got, if I can spell properly, still can't spell. Where are we? No, get rid of the E. Daniel Ung. Uh, Swedish from Elsborg. Generally does pretty good. Uh, right sided defender. Um, fairly decent. And once again, on not on a lot and can be picked up quite cheaply. Um, there's obviously a lot of decent players in Scandinavia, but he's a fairly decent right back. Will do. You, will do a good job for you in lower leagues. Um, so then, heading up in hitting up the central defence, we've got um, Mark. Oops. Burns. Now, some of you may know this guy. He is a bit of a champ man legend. The Australian central defender or right back. He does get really quite good um, eventually as well. He's footed, um, good versatility, good fitness, big matches. So he turns into a really, really good player. Now, the only problem is, is he's Australian, so you will struggle to get a work permit for him. Um, unless, of course, you're playing somewhere like Italy or whatever that doesn't have work permit problems but eventually gets capped by Australia and you can you can pinch him um, that way but he is the first center back there and partnering him at the back is this guy Gas Gasparoni I think that's it 
Christian Gasparoni at San Marino and he's San Marine San Marini's. Um, <clears throat> once again, he is super duper cheap, 17 years old, and he turns into an absolute beast. Um, usually gets snapped up by someone like Juventus generally, so uh, he's a really, really good buy. Some of these players won't come to you if you're too lower down, but you know you can always always give it a whirl. So yeah, he partners uh, Mark Burns there in the back. Um, yeah, he's really good. So you might have heard about him, maybe not, but definitely a good one. So there's the defense there. We're going to head into the midfield now. Um, <clears throat> I've gone for a kind of, a, I guess, a standard 4-4-2 formation for this. So, um, yeah, we'll just go with that. So this guy here, Casey Werman, another Australian, slightly biased there. DMC, he's at Moss, once again, really quite cheap to pick up. Um, work permits, you might get lucky with him, um, but he's a really, really good good defensive midfielder, he's brave, he's aggressive, uh, he's got he's strong, good tackling and 20 work rate, dirtiness 20, fitness 17, adaptability, but he's a really, really quality uh, defensive midfielder who uh, who can do a job in most teams, um, so moving on to his uh, midfield partner, we've got... Um, Justin Walker. Now he's at Exeter. Uh, his stats don't look good, but once again, determination 20, great balance, great agility, decent off the ball, pace passing. He makes a great captain, and this right column here is just littered with re like work rate, technique, team rate. He's a really, really good team player, um, as you can see in his big matches and his consistency there as well. Makes a great captain for lower league clubs as well. Um, relegation release clause from Exeter um, of 80k and they're in League 2 and they generally do quite badly anyway but he generally goes quite quickly so I'd recommend picking him up um, he's definitely a top buyer either footed as well and can take corners so central midfield done now let's move over to the left side of midfield and we've got another San Marino player, who I can't spell his name. Raphael Moroni. Now, I've put him on the left here. You guys can play him on the right. He's at the same, same club as Christian Gasparini. Um, like virtually nothing. He will sign a contract soon that will have minimum fee on it as well. Can play behind the striker, on the left, on the right, in the mid, and he's, he has got some really, really good stats. Once again, makes a great captain. He's creative. He's got good pace. Or he's off the ball is not great. Good passing, determination, can dribble. He's agile. His adaptability, big matches, and fitness is a boon. And, you know, he's got really good stats in good key places. Yeah, his work rate is probably a little bit low in his teamwork for a midfielder, but... He does make a. He does come pretty good, as you can see. He's only 19, uh, and obviously the footed is a bonus. Um, so he, Raphael Moroni, Moroni, Moroni on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side, completing that midfield is <coughs> Scott Huckabee from Hucknall. Um, he can play on the right and left. He is only right-footed, though. But once again, dribbling 20, great pace, determination, good balance, agility. What you, you really want to have, like, wingers slash um, strikers who've got good balance and agility so they're not going to get knocked off the ball so much. Uh, he's got some decent flair, good teamwork, uh, and really good down here. Corners, he's got that big matches consistency, decent fitness as well. So... And obviously, for playing Hucknall, with Hucknall, who are like non-league, he's basically worth peanuts. So he can be picked up quite cheaply and does a decent job. He's 25. It gets slightly better, but you know, like I said, some of these players will do well higher up leagues. Some of them um, 
for your lower league ones because that can be a bit of a struggle. Right, up front. Um, up front, all right. Yeah, this is one of my favorite players. Um, Misen Jav. I can't spell his name, can I? Hey, Misen Javan. Swedish. He looks ordinary to look at. A couple of good things about him. One is he's worth nothing. He's on nothing. And he's free to sign at the beginning of the season. Now, yes, he doesn't look much because he doesn't have... He has one stat over, that's 15. That's his highest. It's his, his stamina. But for some reason, this guy in lower league, even though he does have poor balance as well, he scores a lot of goals. If you can get him in League 2 or if super duper lucky in like potentially in like the National League slash conference, he scores a lot of goals for you. He's one of my favorite players because he's free at the beginning and he does a good job. He won't do very well in like essentially League 1. Um, might do well in League 1, but any higher than that, he's really going to struggle. But definitely a must for lower league. He he, he improves quite a bit um, for, for a lower league and seems to score a ton of goals. And then rounding off the first 11, of first obscure 11, is a uh, another Australian player, Talon Martin. Starts with no club, 18 years of age, um, becomes amazing in about three, four years' time. Once again, he's got decent pace, acceleration, agility, balance, 17 finishing already. It's good stamina, good teamwork, work rate, decent stuff down here as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. He is definitely one for the future, but unfortunately, he is. So you've already got some. Oh, these are obscure clubs after him. Um, he is obviously Australian, so that work permit is an issue um, there, but. You know, within a few years, he gets capped by Australia, and you can generally pick him up there, or you know, go around the work permit rule. Um, yeah, I might do a video on that if we, if you don't know what that is. So there it is. There's the first eleven obscure first eleven. Now let's head up to the obscure second eleven. Now we all know about um, we all know about Maxim Tiz Tizgalko. Tijalko at Dynamo Minsk. But, I don't know if this is his brother or not, Yuri Tijalko, Belarusian goalkeeper. Um, once again, work permit might be an issue, but look at this. Already, teams like Bordeaux, Milan, PSV, and Villarreal are after this kid. He's 18, he's got great goalkeeping stats, um, and he becomes really quite good, obviously, along with all the other Belarusians like... Tijalko and Nikiforenko and what's his name, Milevsky as well. Um, so he's a really good pickup, but work permit again. So um, that's why I've chucked in honorable men uh, an honourable mention goalkeeper who we'll get to at the end. Now the left back, we've got this guy's on a free. Um, if I can spell his name right, which I can't seem to do for anyone. Uh, da -da -da, Silas. The 23-year-old Spaniard left back. Um, free at the beginning of the game. You can usually pick him up in the conference if you're good. If you're, if you're lucky. Acceleration, agility, bravery, determination, off the ball, decent pace. He will do a job for you in the lower leagues. Um, and he's free. So you can't go past that at left back. Um, then on the right side of defense, we've got another Spaniard. Another free one, uh, Sergio Lara. Same age, 23. He's probably a bit better than Silas. Um, definitely a lot better with his crossing, his balance off the ball, his pace, good stamina, good at corners, big matches, consistency. Once again, you'll be able to pick him up in the conference as well. He will, he will come to you. So he's a really good right back uh, there for you to pick up as well. And one of the ones, I definitely get those two as a left and right combination if I'm starting lower league. Um, in the back, we've got, in the centre back, we've got, you guys may have seen this guy on my Man City save. Um, 
Gudmunda Mete from Malmo. Um, Icelandic, 20. Not too bad. Stats can be a bit random sometimes, but 18 tackling. It's got the position, the marking already, and the work rate, and the determination to turn out to be quite a good player. Um, once again, he's on not a lot, so you can attract him to most most medium-ish sized championship clubs. You might be able to get him. You should, might even be able to squeeze him in League One uh, if you're lucky. But he's at the back there. Um, and he's going to partner another freebie who is awesome in lower league. And that is Suat Usta. Suat Usta, Turkish Dutch centre-back. Once again, he's already got... Tends for positioning, good pace, marking, jumping, heading. He's brave, he's aggressive, determination, and he can tackle as well. 19-year-old, really good. And once again, you can probably pick this guy up in the conference, and he will do a job for you, no doubt. So at Uster, really good player there. See, he used to play for Eindhoven. Um, he's a really good pickup there as well. So I definitely recommend signing him if you're starting lower league. Uh, right, there's the defence done. Now we're going to head to the midfield. We do have in the central midfield here, we do have an Australian pair. I can't spell. I just... Fat fingers, fat fingers. Fred Wilson. Now, for a 15-year-old, his stats are absolutely nuts. They can be a bit random sometimes, which is why we've got 17 crossing here and a low determination. So he can be a bit hit and miss, but the fact that he's 15... Uh, English Australian, so you don't need that work permit. He will pretty much sign. You can throw him in the conference and he will play pretty well. His stats do get a lot better. Obviously, he's only 15. Um, so, yeah, one of my favourite players to sign. And another one, another Australian, because I'm slightly biased that way, um, is Matthew Christensen. So, once again, Attacking midfielder this time, 15 years old, Australian English. I mean, look at those stats for 15. Look at balance, bravery, creativity of 18. It's nuts. Off the ball, pace, right, his passing's not great, but yeah, good flair, um, stamina, strength, work rate, teamwork, fitness, consistency. He is an awesome player, and if his stats turn, because I think he's a bit like Fred Wilson, he's got some random stats. If he gets some decent determination, then he can turn out really, really good. And like I was saying, if you keep this guy for five years, he's still only 20. So, another really, really good young player there. Uh, I think they're two, one of the youngest in the game at the start. Um, there is an Indian player, weirdly, who I found before, who I think is like, I want to say 12, but it might be 13, but I've, I can't remember his name, and I've never found him again. Um... But maybe we could just Google Indian, and it gives us all the Indian players. Um, and I could go through 37 pages of that. Maybe I'll do that another time. Anyway, then we've got on the left-hand side, <laughs> we've got another Australian, Kieran Tracy. He's free again, also Australianly in English. Left-sided there. The good thing about Kieran Tracy is, once again, he gets better. He's only 15. Dribbling is good, pace is good, crossing is good. He's a decent left-sided midfielder. His adaptability is 17. He, You will be able to train him for us in the center if you need to, if you're not playing anyone wide. So um, he can be trained. And because he's only 15, no work permit issues there. But he's definitely some good players for younger leagues. Or even if, you know, you want to snap him up because, I don't know, you just like purchasing young kids that sounds weird purchasing young players and seeing how they develop on the right all right this guy's a bit more um bit more well known um victor boyle renner uh i think he's just victor renner in the original um from harlow so non-league once again not worth a lot of money not on big contract but can play like across the midfield, up the front, either footed, great adaptability, he's quick, he's pace, great finishing. Um, on pace as well, something that I have noticed is when you do have a striker in the lower leagues, 
if you can get good pace and acceleration, even finishing about what, 9 or 10, they'll score a ton of goals. If you can get fast strikers in like the conference and league-ish too, maybe to a degree, if they're quick, they'll score a bunch of goals. doesn't matter how bad their finishing is because they've just got the pace to burn past defenders. I mean, you have a look uh, at Harlow. You look... I mean, look, that guy's 39. That's a bad example. But, like, look, look at this guy. Pace four. Like, what other teams we've got down here? Like, Dorchester. This is their star player. Pace 11. Like, even if we were to go into um, the National League, Doncaster, Mark Albrighton, Five, ten. You see, I mean, alright, he's a bit young, but you, you get the point. Kevin Sandwith is a decent player, but he only he has pace ten. The fast strikers will burn those guys and score a ton of goals. Cool, cool. Right, getting up to the last few players now. So up front for the second eleven is once again a bit more well known than some is David Collins at Nonley Radcliffe. Like. He's consistent, he's got good stamina strength, great work rate, he's quick, he's quick as well, he's got decent balance, he's aggressive, and 20 finishing, he scores goals for fun. Uh, I don't like his low dribbling, that's uh, a little bit annoying, but other than that, he is really, really good. Also works well behind the striker as well, scores a ton of goals there, So, and once again, he's worth 6,000, um, so he can be... You can pick him up for, you know, peanuts, essentially. And the final player, partnering David Collins up front, is Bam Bang, Bang Bang Pamuganis, the Indonesian striker. Now, work permit potentially is an issue with him, and you have to pay a little bit more because he's worth a quarter of a million. But you have a look. He's fast, he's jumping, heading, good acceleration, good agility, decent balance, determination 18, finishing 20. Great technique, set pieces is good. He's a really, really good striker. I th I th you might struggle for a work permit in England, but anywhere else, obviously, like Italy or Belgium, you'll be fine. But he's a really good striker. I signed him lower leagues in Italy once, and he just scored for fun. Um, so yeah, really obscure player being Indonesian. Bizarre. I don't think there's any other good Indonesian players. He's not too bad, actually. Maybe? Yeah, he's not too bad. There you go. There's a few decent Indonesian players. So, there's my first and my second, um, obscure 11. Now, I have three honourable mentions. Three? Three honourable mentions. I have a... Goalkeeper, a defender, and a midfielder. I probably should have got another striker, but anyway. So, um, Dean Williams. Will I ams uh, at TNS. 29 years old. Agility, balance, bravery, determination. Everything you want in a goalkeeper. Look at this. 19-20, big matches and consistency. 18 one-on-ones. He's a great goalkeeper. Not worth a lot of money. The only problem is TNS have just bought him, so they're very unlikely to sell him. But I, he is a really, really good pickup for a goalkeeper. A little bit older, but eh, not too bad. Honourable mention, Dean Williams. Um, Honourable mention for a defender now is we've got Brian McGovern. No. No. Really? There he is. Brian McGovern. 21-year-old Irish player. Fairly decent. Sometimes his stats can be a little bit over the shot, but he's 21 already, and he's got heading, jumping, marking, positioning needs to work on. But he's brave, good balance. He's not going to get pushed over. Stamina strength. So he's decent. Once again, conference, former Arsenal player, will will do a job for you and will sign for you in the conference. So, uh, And he does get quite good as well. So I want to mention Brian, Gar Brian McGovern there. And the last one is Luke Gutteridge. 
at Cambridge United. Now, Cambridge are in League 2. He's a really good DMC, uh, and he can play on the left side if you're playing win-backs. He's either-footed. He's 19. Good determination. Brave. He's aggressive. He's, you know, off the ball is good. Probably needs to work on a little bit of a few other things, but he generally gets quite good. Look at this here. Um, lowest one is, well, it's one on one's penalties, but, you know, corners 12, but his big matches, his consistency. Um, and you can usually pick him up quite cheap as well. So, little cheeky honourable mention there to Luke Guttridge. So, guys, that was my obscure 11s. First team, second team, and a couple of honourable mentions. So, I hope you guys like that. I hope you guys uh, found out a new player that you've never seen before. I've been playing this game for I don't know how long, and I'm occasionally still finding players that I have never seen before, so that's what makes it such a top game. Um, but like I said, guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out my other videos, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!